Hi guys, before I start this haul video, this is um, pre-intro, I just wanted to say that I am going to be doing a Q&A video coming up soon in celebration of hitting over 500 subscribers, so thank you so much if you're subscribed. If you're not, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe down below and um, ask me any questions you want answered. This is my dog, Ashley, by the way, so... Um, you can ask questions about Ashley or about me, personal life, uh, reselling related, anything like that um, down below. Or you can message me on my Instagram is also down below. So yeah, I will be compiling the questions and making a video coming soon. So yeah, enjoy the video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Francis, and I am a full-time reseller on eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I have a really exciting Goodwill Outlet bins haul for you. Lots of stuff. This is gonna be the part one, and I think we should just get started. So right off the top here, I have a pair of Carhartt jeans. These are original fit. They are the double knee, not vintage, but this style is very desirable. And I think these are cute. Um, so I did grab those. I don't know what I want, probably 25 to 30 for those. So yeah, and then here's a jacket. This might be the only, no, there's one other jacket. This is cool. I love selling this brand, K-U-H-L, size, what is that, medium? I believe this is men's. Um, oh my gosh, my dog is on the table. I don't know if you can see. <laughs> Anyways, it is very distressed looking. I think it's intentional. Either way, I think it'll sell. There's no flaws. There's just, again, lots of distressing to it. It is cute. Okay. Now, let's get into this stuff. So, you'll see a common theme when... Like, I'll start with this item. This is Prairie Underground, size small. So, you'll see a theme because this... I hit a bin of all things from this brand. Like, seriously. All pre-owned. Um, this is a very local brand to me from Seattle. This one's hemp and organic cotton. And it's like a lagging look dress with a ruffle kind of front. Um, yeah, so that's the first item. You're going to get so tired of hearing that brand because there's a lot. And I think they're kind of sprinkled in, so there might be some non-order. So here's another one. This is their newer tag. So small, medium. This is more of like a cotton cardigan. This one's cute though. Kind of more my style. Um, oh, here's something that's not from that brand. This is a Urban Outfitters size medium. Silence and noise. Little cropped sweater. It's pretty um, basic, but I do think this is a wool blend. I have to check for sure after, but um, I think that might be why I got it because it is pretty plain. Um, okay. Oh my gosh. Here it is. That brand. I'll show, this will be probably the last time I show the tag just cause you're going to know what it looks like by the end of the video. Um, this is actually a dress. So I was happy to find that cause the rest of the stuff is pretty similar. This is a cute dress though. And it has a zip down the back. I don't know if the store was donating old stuff, but it doesn't make sense though. Cause it's all pre-owned but the sizes are different. So maybe it's somebody's collection, which I'll take it. Cause this brand is really expensive. If you haven't heard of it, I would call this a bolo for sure. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is more of their classic style. I've had this exact sweatshirt coat before. Um, I think I even showed one in like a haul a couple videos ago. Pretty classic. <laughs> yeah, okay. Here's something that is not from that brand. This is a really cute multicolor striped dress with a little tie front. I was at the bins so much longer than I normally stay because my friend was there and we just had a lot of fun. We ordered coffee <laughs> to be delivered. We just had a lot of fun. So I did get so much stuff. This is just probably a quarter or a third of the stuff I got. So. Just keep that in mind, there will be more videos coming. This is Drew, size extra small. That is an anthropology brand. Cute 
lightweight dress. Perfect for the spring, summer. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's another one of those jackets. The spray underground. underground. I feel like people didn't know what that brand was because there was other people looking in the same bin. They just weren't grabbing those. So, I don't know. Here is a sweatshirt. This one's really cute with floral. And this might surprise you. It's actually free people. Size large. This tag is like written on it. So this must be like an older piece. It's cute. Olive green hoodie. Yeah, has a hood. That one's cute. Um, okay. This is a Patagonia base layer. It's super sheer. Um, the inside tag is definitely like worn off, so I don't actually know what size it is, but I could just tell it's Patagonia from there. Super, super thin, but weighs almost nothing at the bins. My local outlet is $1.79 per pound, I think. No cuts or breaks, I mean, no price breaks, but that's okay. They used to do that, but they don't do it anymore. Okay, Prairie Underground, another one. Um, and this was all in like the first rotation too. So it was like, oh my gosh, this is going to be a good day. Okay. This is like layers to it. And yeah, that one's a cute style. This is another one. Um, my dog is being wild today. Here's another one. This one's a longer jacket. It's like a cute light blue color. Um, Kind of looks like a Lululemon type of like, it's one of their jackets kind of has that ruffle look. This one's a size small. I think a lot of them are either small or medium. There's like one or two extra smalls. Here's another one. Oh my gosh. I swear the rest of the haul is not this stuff. It's like other brands. This one's an olive green one. Um, here's a purple one. Um, and then here is a shirt by that same brand, size medium, like a geometric print. I think that there's only a couple more pieces from that brand, like dispersed throughout. So you'll see that again. Okay. This was a really good find. <clears throat> so this is a jacket, a lightweight quilted jacket, new with tags. And this is Barber or Barbor. This brand is so expensive. I have found it, I think, two or three times. This is what the tag, the inside label looks like. This is a US 12. It has the similar, um, like, vibe as Burberry, and people are loyal to this brand. So I'm really happy that I found it new with tags. I've never found it new with tags before, so that was really awesome. This is, um, this is an Urban Outfitters little graphic tee. It says, be kind to every kind. This is the, um, what's it? Project Social Tee. Size small. Pretty cute. Little t-shirt there. Okay, this I think I might keep. Um, I have sold the same style shirt by this brand. This is just Vince Camuto. It's two by Vince Camuto. This is a size medium. I'm going to wash it and try it on. If I don't like the way it fits, I will just sell it because um, I actually do think it's cute. So I got that for me. Just I'll try it. <laughs> this is a Madewell size extra small. I tend to find Madewell sweaters like in really small sizes. I'm not sure why. But this is like their classic, like really soft material. And it's a really cute striped sweater. So I was happy to find that. Um, all right. This is just a Lauren Ralph Lauren size small. I got it because it's super lightweight. Um, and it has a cute little dolman detail. Oh, I just realized that it's supposed to have a belt, but what I do is I typically cut those off and then I'll just note that it had a belt, but the loops aren't even there. So, okay. So I hit that prairie underground jackpot 
but then I hit the figs jackpot. So if you've heard, haven't heard of figs before, it's a really good scrubs brand. A lot of people don't <clears throat> recognize it at the bins or thrift store I found. So I'm able to find it um, quite a bit actually, but I found quite a few pieces you'll see throw out here and maybe in my upcoming videos because there's probably more in my car. So this one's a size large, basic black top. Um, there's more in there, but this one's an anthropology Saturday, Sunday size small. This is just a really cute top. Has like a little ruffle, um, cinched cuff. Really cute top. It's kind of like a thermal and it has like heather, um, fabric. Okay. This is going straight to the real real. This is Brahmin. Oh my gosh. This is a vintage cashmere cable knit sweater, mock neck. So cute, right? Brahmin's really expensive. This one, I don't know why. I know they make like mainly bags, so I'm not sure why <laughs> there's a sweater, but I grabbed it. Yeah, this is going to go to the real real. I put that in a different pile there. Okay. And the real real is a online... Um, it is a luxury consignment, so you just send them their stuff and they'll give you commission when they sell it. This is another figs piece, size large. This is a nice top, but it does have a bleach spot right there, which will obviously decrease the value of it, um, but still worth grabbing in my opinion um, for bids prices. Okay, this is a Torrid size 2X. And it's like a really cute graphic burnout tee. Super lightweight, but it's really cute. I think I will list that for about $15 to $18. Um, typically what I do for like basic t-shirts. Um, this is free people size, what is that? Small. The little metal thing is coming off. But this is just like a really cute plaid printed flannel really cute. It needs like a good ironing or a steam. Isn't that cute though? It's just basic, but I thought it was cute. All right. This, this is just Lane Bryant size 1820. I just thought this style was so cute. It's like kind of cottage core prairie. I think it's just polyester, but I've had some luck with, um, Lane Bryant blouses. They're super lightweight too. Okay. This I was like, oh, when I found it, this is Reformation. And this is, yeah, look, the Reformation jeans. Yeah, this is a like cream colored. I think this is like corduroy. Yeah, I don't know why I think I said, I think it's definitely corduroy like shacket. It is so thick. It's in excellent condition. And yeah, it's not often that I find Reformation just in the bins <laughs> and most people I feel like find it before me figs size large this one's like peeling this is like a cool style like with the Henley it's different um I think that's kind of cool it's a little stylish there all right what is this figs large yeah they're just scrub tops, and then I do have some bottoms as well, which I think you'll see in this other section. Okay, this I think I paid like $5 for because, oh my gosh, is it heavy. So this is Free People, size medium. This thing is, so it's like a sweater, but it's kind of more of a jacket. It is super long, like parka trench length, and I think it weighs like three pounds. There's no hood, but it is so, so cute. I hope I can find stock photos for that because I think that'll be hard to just photograph hanging. Um, but I really was happy to find that and I was willing to pay about $5. Um, this is Wilfred, which is sold at Aritzia. Size small, little mock neck sweater. I thought this was going to be a Madewell sweater when I pulled it out of the bin because of the style, but yeah, Wilfred, still great. Next is a pair of Athleta, oops, size 10, great size. They're like a um, Bermuda length, kind of long short, 
Sorry about my dog. She's actually standing on the table again. Right there. <laughs> Anyways, so they're like a green um, lounge short. Cute, cute. These are... Or the, come here, you can lay down. This is a mountain hardware size medium. Little athletic workout skirt. Pretty cute. Basic. These are Brandy Melville pants. <laughs> These I can only get probably like 10 to 15 for nowadays. Pretty saturated item. All right. This is an Eileen Fisher size extra small. Um, and I don't know. I don't think it's new with tags. I think this is from some shop, but they had it at $200. So I'm not sure why I, like a thrift store or something is trying to sell this for $200, but um, I definitely grabbed this. It is in really excellent condition. Cute, like, moto style jacket. It's, like, pretty stretchy. Yeah, I'll probably list that around 35 to 40. All right. Okay, here, <laughs> um, here it is again. Prairie Underground says so small. Here's another dress. Oh, there is another dress. I thought that was only the other one. This is a cute cross front detail dress black probably list that one around 30 I haven't been saying what I'm gonna list these things for oops okay this is a new brand to me so this is a little skirt pretty lightweight with a lace trim and this is nougat London size one so I don't know what the sizing for this means but I'm sure it's like probably like a small yeah, I looked up comps of the bins and I remember it being worth it, but I don't know what the exact comps are. Okay. Next is just Nike size extra large, the athletic department. Cute little um, full zip hoodie sweatshirt. I thought that was really cute and I wanted to grab that. Um, these are a pair of Free People size 26. I saw these laying on top of the bin as they were rolling them out. And you can't touch them until, um, you can't touch the clothes until they say you shop. So I was really <laughs> excited that I was like right in front of it because somebody else totally would have grabbed these if they knew. Really cute. Corduroy. Like printed pant. They're like a slim leg. Which I know is not as desirable, but I think someone will really like those. All right. Speaking of free people, these are free people. We the free size large pair of pants. They're like a denim chambray. There is a rip, which I don't know if that's intentional or not. But either way, I wanted to grab them because I think that that's cute. And it's like a straight leg pull on pant with like a drawstring. I'm always happy to grab free people at the bins. All right. This is Elaine Bryant new with tag sweater. Size 1820. It's like a mint green color. You can't really tell on the camera for some reason. I think it's like a wool blend sweater. Turtleneck. Pretty cute. Um, this is a skirt by the brand NAU, which I've been finding so much recently. Size medium, it's like a long skirt. This brand is very expensive. I don't know how the resale value does, but yeah, purple skirt. These are a pair of Zara 90s full length jean. These are a size six with a button fly, which I was really happy about. Really cute, just a basic black jean. I think it's just, is it straight leg? No, kind of looks like a skinny black jean. The 90s style does really well. Yeah. Okay, these are figs. These, these ones are really cute. They're a um, pink color, mauve kind of pink. It says large pant. Yeah, in really good condition. I really liked those, that color. And here's another pair of figs, size large. Definitely somebody's entire 
nursing collection. Um, because they're all size large and they were all in one bin. Um, my location does a lot of raw donations. Um, so I've noticed that. So not very many items have Goodwill tags on them. So I don't think any of the items I got today have Goodwill tags, which is great. This is Cloth and Stone by Anthropology, new with tags. US $98. That's so much for this. It's really cute, like flowy blouse, but $98 for that? It's insane. Um, well, here is another pair of figs. I'll just show you these quickly. Size large. Okay, these are a tried and true brand for me. This is a uh, beta brand size medium petite. Love selling beta brand. These are just the classic like yoga pant. Super, super stretchy. I really hope one day I can find a pair that's in my size because these just seem like a dream to wear. Really cute. Okay, what else? These are a pair of Everlane, size 31 regular. Um, I don't know if these are men's or women's. They do have like a little bit of puckering. No, maybe not. I think they're women's. They're a like kick flare. Oh, there's a little bit of um, bleach maybe. I'm not sure. Uh, raw hem. So cute. I really liked those a lot. And then this was a brand I've never seen before. It's called Ghost and it's made in England. It is new with tags and I decided to look it up because it's priced at on here for $185. It's like a kind of stretchy long skirt. I know nothing about it. I did look it up and I found like very few other listings on Poshmark. So I'm not sure. Um, probably should have done a little more research, but I didn't and it came home with me. So yeah, um, let's see. Next, this is a new brand to me. This is called Crafted by Candy and Caviar. Um, I think there's a rip right here though. Oops. Well, this is a um, wool cotton blend, size large, hooded sweater. It's in such good condition besides the little rip. So soft, really cute drawstring. Um, I did look up comps and they were pretty good. I will have to note that little flaw, but I thought that was fun. Okay, this was really cute. This is Mod Cloth, size medium. This is actually um, belted, which I'm glad the belt is still on it, it's still attached. Mod Cloth, stretchy wrap front dress, very large skirt part, little button details, collared, so cute. Um, I think I can get probably 35 for that, especially because right now it's like spring, summer. Um, people are looking for dresses. Um, all right. This is a Soma size 34C bra. Pretty simple little bra. Um, okay. This is a little Hannah Anderson <laughs> A size three to six months t-shirt. How adorable is that? Lion. Oh my gosh. So that's really cute. Okay. Next is, this is a Nike dry fit size medium, like sweatshirt, very lightweight, gray hoodie sweatshirt. Yeah, pretty cute. Oh, I didn't show the tag. Just the classic Nike dry fit. Okay, so next, yes, I'm wearing a different shirt. Um, it is a different day. These are a pair of Madewell jeans, and they're just a blue wash. And these are the nine inch mid rise skinny in a size 29, which is a great size. Um, 
I think I'll list these for about 35. I love selling Madewell jeans. Um, one of my favorites to find for sure. And frame jeans too. Okay, next is a pair of rag and bone jeans. These are size 32. This was in a picked over bin. So that's just your tip to, to look through picked over bins. This is the Dre Capri. And they're a really cute kind of distressed raw hem light wash jean. Really cute. And they're in super good condition. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. Just with minimal wear, but nothing like visible. Okay, this was also in that same picked over bin. This is American Giant, which I love selling this brand. Size small, men's size small. And this is just like a t-shirt, which is probably why it was left because I mean, who's really looking at t-shirts? And a lot of, I feel like a lot of people don't know this brand. Um, I think I'll list this for about 25, which is great for a t-shirt. So yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, okay. This is a good brand, but the resale value is just not too good anymore, but I had to grab it at the bins. This is scotch and soda. And this is size extra large. It's like a heathered blue men's pullover crew neck. It's pretty nice. I don't know. I think I'll list it for about 30 and see what happens. Okay, so then the next item is really cute. This is like maybe one of my favorite items of this entire haul. This is a Universal Standard, which is a really good brand to know. This is a button front jumpsuit with a like pocket front. How cute is this? Um, so I do need to get that listed. It's very cute. Um, and for Universal Standard, it is a plus size. I think it's a plus size brand. So a size small is more like a large, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I have only sold it like two or three times. All right. And then I did get quite a few bras. This one is a third love bra, which was given to me by a friend at the bins. Um, love selling third love. So there's that. That one's good. And then this is a Malaysia by La Perla, which I know that brand is actually good. And this is just like a pink bra. I feel like my lighting is kind of dark. I'm not sure why, but whatever. Um, okay, next are these pants. So they have a Goodwill tag on them, but I did get them actually at the bins. So I did not pay $10 for them. I paid like probably less than a dollar. These are a pair of slacks. This is a new to me brand. It's called Rosemundy Copenhagen. So I've never heard of it before. I looked up comps and they were actually decent. I think like 40 to $50 for something like this. Kind of like a crop trouser pant, really cute. And the tag definitely intrigued me. So I wanted to look that up. Anything that says like Italy, Copenhagen, Sweden, stuff like that just kind of draws my attention. Um, again, that one had a Goodwill tag, but these are from the bins. Torrid, size 20R. These are a stretchy waist pull on like jegging pant, blue distressed, nice pant. Um, yeah, probably 35, 20, er, 28 to 35 for those. Okay, these are so cute. Um, these are a Hannah Anderson size 80 little pair of like snow pants they're so cute and small I know it's not the right season but I will still just list those um yeah oh this was cute um all right so this is a Zara Trafalic denim wear I don't know if you can see that the they're a pair of overalls with like distressing, like whiskering throughout and really cute um, denim. And then on the back it says 
talk to the hand and I don't know if someone added that or if that was part of the style. Um, either way, I think it's cute. And I love selling all overalls pretty much, but Zara Madewell overalls do the best. So I'm leaning over to like grab out of this bag if you're wondering. <laughs> um, okay, this is a pair of Eileen Fisher size small maroon purple like corduroy full on <laughs> pants. The, these pockets are fake on the front, but the back ones are true pockets. You go lay down. And they're just like a full length pull on pant. Kind of like a jigging like style. So those are cute. Um, okay, my friend of the bins, her name is Angela. So I, think, I don't think she watches my videos, but <laughs> if you do, thank you for these. These are a pair of Carhartt um, jeans. They are the double knee, really classic, um, popular Carhartt style. Definitely sought after. You saw the gray ones in the beginning of the video. Again, I don't think these are vintage, but cute. Here's a bra that Angela also gave me. This is a gray and black bra. She doesn't really sell bras, so she gives me some, which is really nice. This one's a new with tags. Retailed for $44. Oh, this is the um, by Wacol. I love selling Wacol. Be tempted by Wacol. Yeah. So that was good. That was nice of her. All right. These are a pair of Levi's 505s. <laughs> Love selling Levi shorts, especially this time of year. They practically fly out of my closet. These are the cutoff zip fly. So those would be good. These are a pair of American Eagle, new without tag. Black little denim shorts, stretchy. These are called the high rise shorty in a size four. They really are new without tags. Like there's nowhere to those. Okay, this is a Zara Basic little vest. Now, this looks very similar to a like um, a J. Crew vest that I have recently sold, but Zara outerwear does super well for me. So I was excited to find that, probably 25 to 30 on that. Okay, here is a pair of Eileen Fisher pants. This is a petite. PP is like probably a petite extra small or something like that. So definitely a different, <laughs> a harder sell, but um, they are just a pull on pant. They weighed very little. So I thought I would grab those. Um, I recently hired my sister to list for me. She lives uh, not near me and I just draft stuff and she goes into my Poshmark and lists it. So I've been like, able to get a lot more stuff done, <laughs> film hauls, it's great. Um, so I'm gonna have her list some of this stuff. This is a Aritzia Wilford free size small, little faux leather midi um, pencil skirt. It's really cute, but I don't know how skirts really, <laughs> they don't do super well for me. Although I just sold a Lulu's pencil skirt, so maybe the pencil skirts are popular now. Um, okay, this is Livy by Lane Bryant. I think by Lane Bryant. It's a sports bra with a cute like snake skin print purple um, pattern and it is padded. So that one's really cute. Okay, so my dog got onto my table and was drinking water out of my cup and then spilled the whole thing all over my table with my laptop and my iPad on there. So that was great. Anyways, so this is all wet now, but as you can see, there's water all over it because I was holding this and then she spilled it. Anyways, this is just a little sports bra for me. This brand, I don't actually know. It's what it, it doesn't even have a name, I don't think, but yeah, I got that for me. I thought that was cute. And then I did get a couple bags. This is a really nice little like shoulder kind of a shoulder bag 
I did show this on, I briefly showed this on my Instagram when I found it. This is a Marnie bag. How do you open this? <laughs> I'm not sure. Oh, the little clasps. So that's the brand Marnie. It is really expensive. If I can find this bag online, I will add in a photo. It is made in Italy and this is in like almost brand new condition. So, so excited to find that. Really cute piece. And then this, I was so excited about. So, I was looking through the accessories bin, which I typically don't. I always almost, I almost always look in the shoes. But I think I'm going to start looking at accessories more. Um, this scarf was just in there and people were tossing it around because nobody really looks at scarves. Because um, they're usually nothing. Um, but I saw this and I felt it and I was like, that feels really nice. The pattern is really cute. And I was looking for a tag. And then I did find a little hang tag, which is like the cloth material. And you know, that's like good quality. It says 100% silk. And then flipped it over. And I was still trying to find a brand. And then I saw it says johnnywas.com. So yeah, this is a Johnny Was scarf. And it's beautiful, 100% silk. I don't, I've never sold like a accessory from Johnny Was, but I'm assuming this will still do really well. And it's like printed, 100% silk, really cute scarf. So that weighed probably like nothing, like at all. <laughs> so great find. Okay, this I just grabbed because I thought it was absolutely adorable. This is a beaded floral little Y2K vintage handbag. Oh, it is just darling. And then it opens here and it is a little bit dirty. I'll have to like wipe it. I think it's just like lipstick marks. It does say something like original. What does that say? Original something. I can't really read it, but I'll just list it as vintage. And I thought that was so cute. I love picking up like little vintage beaded bags okay a couple more items in this bag and then I will show you the rest of the stuff this is a maxi length Lulu's dress love selling Lulu's especially maxi dresses this is a pink sequin sleeveless like floor length prom style dress with a cut out accent detail which is really cute this I think I'll list around 45 um, their maxi stuff definitely sells better for me. And so, yeah. Okay. This is a new brand to me. This bag, it is called Plinio Vizona Italia. And I did look it up and comes are about 50 to $60. Really cute, um, leather, like crossbody. The straps are a little worn though. You can't really tell probably, but yeah, they're definitely worn. The leather itself of the bag is in excellent condition. It's kind of like an olive green color, which is really cute. If you made it this far, thank you so much. Um, please let me know um, if you like bin hauls like this. I'm not done though. I have a lot more stuff. Um, also, if you're wondering, my Poshmark is always linked below and I will have some of this stuff listed. Hopefully the majority by this video, by the time this video comes out. Okay, I'm super out of breath because I just brought in a lot more stuff out of my car. This was a long day. I got so much stuff. Um, okay, next is this Joie, size extra small, black, white, striped top. I really want to say this is linen. 100% linen. Yes. Okay, good. Um, let me know if you guys like the longer videos. Um, I'd really like to know because I can continue doing shorter, like part one and two, three bins hauls, or I can make these long. Um, whatever you guys prefer. Okay. This is a Victoria's Secret. I'm really out of breath from bringing all this stuff in. Victoria's Secret blue lace long lingerie like dress really cute these sell so well for me like 20 to 25 dollars okay this was kind of a risk 
because I don't pick this up super often. This is a Title IX size large jacket. And the reason I got it is because it's a nice light white, lightweight jacket, but it's also wool. So this part is wool. And I thought this would be nice. It kind of reminds me of smart wool style, probably retailed for less. Um, but still a really good piece and it was didn't weigh very much. Um, so yeah. All right. This is a Nordstrom Signature 100% um, cashmere. It says extra large striped blocking sweater. So there's like different um, fabric or different designs. Really cute. There's no holes that I could see. Um, you never know because sometimes you only see the holes after you put it under the light. Okay. Love, love, love selling beta brand. Did I show the beta brand? The black pair? I don't remember. That was a couple days ago. But I found a black pair as well. These are a patterned one, which I've actually never found anything other than the black pants. Um, and these are kind of like a wide leg or straight leg, wide flare. These are size medium petite and they're in like new condition, probably from the same donor because they're the same size. These are a pair of Prana size 34 with a 10 inch inseam, men's little cargo shorts, probably 30 bucks on those. These are estimates. I have actually no idea how much they will sell for. Um, and then this is, uh, oh, a new tag, Eloquy, size 22, 24. Oops. Yeah. New with tag. I love selling Eloquy. It is a really cute little, look at how cute that little um, knot front is. And this is like a nice mustard yellow color. Probably good for the fall. So I don't know when this will sell, but oh, here's um, another pair of those Eileen Fisher petite pants, same size. I'll just do a multi-quantity listing. That'll be really easy. Okay, this is a bra, and this is Wacol. Again, I love selling this bra brand. It's really expensive retail. And this is a cute little um, sheer lace bra. Okay, these are uh, American Eagle, one of their newer styles I guess and these are super distressed ripped jeans with a like chunk missing which is like intentional um raw hem these are the uh, what is it the mom jean in a size 10 so that's great love selling the mom jean style by American Eagle those fly out of my closet one bag done um, and the rest of this haul will be a lot more like shoes, you'll see. Um, okay, this is a Zara top, size small. Really, really cute. I feel like I've sold the same style before. Um, with like a little smocked cuff. Really simple, but cute. Oh, this was exciting find. This is a Lululemon dress, actually size six looks like their basic tank top and then it is a dress which is really cute white upper with a black skirt and this is uh with the shelf bra is that what you call it so cute i think that'll do really good i'm assuming Ho i'm hoping all right some shoes um these are a pair of Allbirds, so they do have the um, rubber band. These are men's, and they are the classic wool runners. Pretty good condition. I do have um, magic erasers that I can use, but these look pretty good. These are size men's 13 merino wool. So those will do well, I hope. And... Yeah. Okay, these definitely need to be cleaned up with the magic eraser. These are a pair of 
Little Kids Natives, which I love selling natives. They're super lightweight. They sell better than Crocs for me. So um, I love to pick them up. These are kids size 13. Yeah, need the magic eraser for those. And then I found these are a pair of Mephisto. These look a lot like Birkenstocks, but they're Mephisto um, strappy sandals, size. I actually don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know. I'll have to do some looking on those. Oh, and then these are really cute. Um, these are a little kid's pair of Merrells. I thought these were cute. They were in a plastic like donation bag um, with a bunch of other shoes, but none of the other ones I was willing to pick up. Um, these were the best pair. Really good condition, super cute. And they are a size 12, I think 12. I'm not sure. And then I found this. So this is a, the brand, the sack. Um, at first I just thought it was like nice satchel, but it's actually it can be a backpack. Um, like that really cool, unique style, um, brown leather with their classic interior fabric. So cute. This is in such good condition. So I was super happy to find that. And then I found, actually somebody gave me these, um, little pair of suede pumps, which are cute with that block heel. This is just the brand First State or One State. Sold at Nordstrom. Doesn't really sell for a ton, but I thought these were really cute for like going to a wedding. I don't know. Um, oh, I actually do have another bag of clothes here also. Um, this is ex officio size extra small. I do like selling this brand. This is a skirt. It's kind of a gauzy knit skirt, midi length, um, very lightweight. Okay. These I only got cause they were new with tag. These are Chico's. Um, yeah, new with tag size 1.5, which is their vanity sizing. These are like a super embellished, um, kind of like a teal green velvet pant. So yeah, these are completely velvet, <laughs> really cute, lightweight. Hoping for about 25 to 30 for those. Um, okay, this is a little white Lululemon bra. Classic, um, the size on this should be in here somewhere. I'm not totally sure. Oh, size 10. So that's a good size. Okay. This is a free people missing the little, um, metal size two dress. Um, oh, this needs to be zipped. Cute little sundress, um, gray gingham printed mini length dress. It is lined with a open back. That was cute. Probably a little outdated, but definitely an adorable style. This, oh, I thought this was adorable. So this is a size 10 top shop. I don't pick up a lot of top shop just because the resale value is not super high, but this is like a satiny peach colored, um, mini skirt. I just thought this was super cute, trendy, good for the season um, style. And then I found these. These are a pair of Lululemon leggings. Really good condition. Ankle crop. And then let's look for the size. Size six. So yeah, and they're really good condition. Um, oh, these are really cute. I thought that this style was just so unique. So this is size medium medium long I think because it says long there um they're like a really stretchy jogger legging kind of um the texture of it is just really nice and they have like different ribbing and the logo there these are definitely women's I think I'll have to look up the style number but 
Yeah, I really liked that. Um, okay, and this is just a swimsuit ruffle. Nothing, like, special. It's just cup -she. However, it is new with tags, so that's why I picked it up. cup -she is an online fast fashion brand. Size medium. But the swimsuits actually sell, you know, not too bad. So that's what I've heard. I don't think I've actually ever sold a cup sheet swimsuit. But I've heard that from other resellers. So when I found it new tags, I was going to give that a try. All right, another maxi dress. Again, Lulu's size small. This is really cute. Um, it is like a tie wrap front with just blue floral length it's hard to show when it's not like hanging or on somebody oh this was the first time i've ever found this brand so this is a skirt very short velvet with like patterns and this is called trip nyc size xxl which is great size i'm gonna shoot high for this because i've heard so many people sell that for a ton of money so yeah this is j jill Size small, stretch, about a $15 shirt, probably, like, resale. <laughs> it's probably, like, $49 new, which is a lot. Okay, <clears throat> and then some shoes and bags. Okay, this bag is really cute. This is just matte and matte. I believe this is a vegan leather bag in excellent condition super cute with like a rounded edge crossbody classic style but that was cute and then i found this whole just array of this is all fossil so this is the bag and it all fits in there there's like this hanging thing it's like a whole toiletry set a bag and then tiny little pouch and it all kind of fits in here so I thought that was cute we'll definitely sell this as a set for sure and then some pants these are theory size zero I'm gonna send these to the real real because um, I have such a hard time selling theory myself um, okay this is a scarf I'm not gonna unfold it just because it take took takes a while to fold it back up um, this is just polyester and acrylic, but I did look this brand up. Where is that tag? Where's the brand tag? Because this has the fabric. Um, oh gosh, now I am fully undoing it. Oh, Moro? Uh, I did look it up and I think maybe it was sold at Athleta. Um, but who knows if that's true or somebody else just listed it like that. Can't always be sure. And then, okay, pre like warning, these shoes have not been cleaned. So these are a cute pair of little Lucky Brand booties. Look at the block heel. So cute. Size six. And they have the Lucky Brand. These are in really good condition, actually. I don't think these need to be cleaned. Um, yeah. Those are adorable. Um, okay. Oh, yeah. These. These desperately need to be, um, like... What's the word? Conditioned. So these are a pair of combat -y kind of boots with a side zip. Um, and they're Doc Martens. Which I was really surprised about. No one wanted these. Um, they're scuffed. They need to be leather conditioned with the Dr. Doc Martin Wonder Balsam. Love that stuff so much. It works really well. Put that up there. Okay, that is it for this haul. That's absolutely everything. I really hope you enjoyed. This video is way longer than I thought it would be. Um, but please give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and let me know if you like the longer videos or if you like them broken up into shorter little segments. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.